Okay, welcome to lesson number four. Um, if you all were listening carefully in the last video, you heard something sounding like a bottle cap being popped off a bottle and landing on the table. That wasn't somebody standing behind me opening a beer. That happens to be the sound of my wife sending me a text on my phone. So there's nobody behind me. There's no beer being, being consumed. I'm doing this all by myself. So, last one was in and outs. Okay, remember if I, I told you if you could do in and outs, you could do just about any flourish I could think of. Okay, so you did in and outs going backwards, and you should have worked on in and outs going forwards. Now, this is a really cool one because this one gets you into doing the pinwheel or the cartwheel, as some people call it. I'm going to turn a little sideways so that you can see this. Now, remember before I told you to start up here to do your forward in and out where you could bring the sticks in, but I just hit the, hit the blind on the window. You bring your sticks in and out of your, your, uh, your hands going in a forward direction. Okay, well, you're halfway doing a pinwheel right now. So, what I want you to do is... Bring your hands forward, and instead of bringing your flipping your hands so that the sticks go in and out, like so, I want you to keep your hands like somebody's about to throw a basketball at your face, and you're going to try and block it, except you're going to curl your fingers up a little bit. Okay, so sticks behind your shoulders, bring them forward, flip them forward, and keep them inside your arms. Let's see if I can do that where there's a little bit of light. Flip them forwards and you can see them going in the same direction. They're not going in and out but they're going in the same direction inside my arms. Now a lot of tenor drummers these days are doing this like over their head and they're doing it really fast. When you do that, you got to be careful, especially if you're wearing a Glengarry because you're probably going to knock it right off your head. <clears throat> Seen it done. I've at least flipped a, a hackle out of the side of my, my Glengarry before. Anyway. That's, that's just a, a really quick way of learning how to do the pinwheel or the cartwheel. Now, in one of my other videos, I showed you uh, something different to do with a cartwheel. We called it a half, a half reverse pinwheel or a half reverse cartwheel. And remember, if you saw that, oops, I'm losing the angle on my camera here. <clears throat> It was a, uh, a, a pinwheel, and I would take my right stick and flip it down underneath my arm. I should really stand up for this one. I'm going to stand up. Okay, I'm going to put the sticks behind my back, flip my sticks out in front of me. And in the half reverse pinwheel, you take this stick and flip it under your arm and reverse its direction. And it gives kind of a cool effect from the side. It looks like you got like a pigeon flapping its wings in between your, your hands. So that's the half reverse pinwheel. Don't work on that until you nail the pinwheel itself. Don't try to go too fast at first. Do it so that you can get them going evenly. You see how I have, if they were to stop, the one stick would be at 12 o'clock, one would be at 6 o'clock. Because you don't want to go like this because that looks silly. So work on that before you work on the half reverse pinwheel.
That one may take you a little bit longer to pick up. Uh, if it doesn't, wonderful. Then we can move on to something else. So I think that was video number four. Uh, next one will be five. And that will probably be, I think we'll work on the uh, butterfly in that one.